Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'm actually gonna start cleaning up the warehouse just because uh, the two cents pop-up is done as you guys saw on the previous video or the previous, previous video. Um, we ended up leaving early obviously and then Andy and Min brought everything back but we took a lot of stuff from the warehouse that we actually do use on an everyday purpose and they've sort of just haven't put it back because I'm the person that sort of just puts everything back. We gotta uh, reload the shelves as the air fresheners that were taken off the shelves, we need to put that back on it as well. Stock tech is all good as well, which is a good thing because we actually had this big issue about going to pop-ups because one, uh, the stock tech will be wrong because if we sell stuff in person, it actually doesn't get taken offline and online sorry and we usually would like a point of sale system that we could pay for or whatever just for pop-ups but we didn't do any pop-ups really last year and now this year now we don't know if we're going to do a whole heap of pop-ups so usually what we have is a point of sale system that is for pop-ups that links with our online store but this one was a headache and it just wasn't good. Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Share this video with everyone who you need to share it with. But before the day starts, I'll show you guys what I do every single time. Not every single day though, when we open up the warehouse. Just because all my cars are sort of in here. I'm gonna move all the cars out. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of stuff before the day starts. Let's roll. Like I was saying, see this cage right here? This cage is not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be in between the tables with the lights set up, then the cars are here, and then I'm gonna move the cars out, gonna open the roll doors, gonna do a whole bunch of stuff. Come with me. First things first, gonna take these uh, bollards out. Um, yeah, we're gonna move these bollards, open up the gate, move my 180 out, and then move the Type X out, the other Type X out, and then see, as you guys can see, all the pop-up stuff is sort of just sitting here, and then it's sitting on that desk over there, and everything just looks hectic right now because we were just in a frantic rage of just chaos and just yeah just does not look good Now with all the um, daily morning routines out of the way, another daily routine that I need to do is always ship out the express air fresheners first, just because uh, we do do a one day handling time for two cents air fresheners. We're actually going to change this just because uh, we're actually trying to hire new staff, change the way around the logistics, how it works, just because I hate to say it's kind of annoying because every single morning I have to just do air fresheners, just the express ones, go through all the orders, find which ones are express, do that. And then Min comes in the next day, does all the normal orders and stuff like that. I feel like he should just do them all. So we might just take away the express and just do a tracking service because we don't have any other tracking services besides express. So we might just eliminate the express do a normal standard envelope and then do a tracking envelope which will make life easier just for us so we can actually streamline the packing services, the packing part of two cents and it will just happen at least just twice a week or three times a week and they can just do longer hours like eight to nine hours days and this makes life easier. So let's quickly pack these orders and get them out of the way. demand but we try to print as many as we possibly can but we're having this issue with oh, I'm so like I'm actually so fucking set, fed up with it but there's not enough stock and I just have to wait like, because this is the problem is that when things need to be expressed out and I need to print it there's like a billion files that actually need to be printed and then there's like a bunch of orders that actually need the stickers and like it's annoying because we do try to keep like like enough here as you guys can see but then the problem is like no one's our staff are not notifying us when they're running low or they're out because like i don't even know what's supposed to be on the other side of this but i, I assume the old the old school bulb was supposed to be there not the new one and then we have like that 
see that's missing whatever that's supposed to be on the back of that same as this one same as this one this one has nothing in it oh my god this is just so frustrating like just yeah like let's see another one that has nothing another one has nothing it's supposed to be back in front so like i have not yeah it's supposed to be like this so if you look at this page this is one single page this side's supposed to have with this this side's supposed to be like this oh what a day what an absolute day Whilst the stickers are printing, what I'm doing right now is I'm just like clearing through these boxes. Whatever that can go back in the shelves, will go back onto the shelves. So as this one's cherry. Let's see if you guys can figure out where it's supposed to go. Yep, you can just go back up here. And it'll just go into here. Obviously, can't do it with one hand, but gonna take the elastic bands off and do all that. But the stickers are nearly done. This is the finished product of the stickers. Not finished, sorry. The first step of the product. So you guys can see it's printed on car vinyl it's actually printed on car vinyl we don't want to use cheap stickers for two cents at all so we use nothing but car vinyl and it should be can i do this one hand yes this is like the most satisfying bit of this job just peeling it like oh my god i'm gonna try to use my elbow or rotate oh no oh no babe babe i need help need help need help run 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 push that one down Yep. Just keep the edge off it. Oh, it's dark to, oh, okay, you want to do that, okay. Oh, that was just easier. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, guys. And Come on. that's it. So, Philly did one step further, so you guys can see it's die cut perfectly around the... Oh my God. Die. And then uh, this is die cut out, so I gotta peel all these out so they're die cut correctly. And then next step, I need to put a protect, uh, like a protective or transfer layer on top. I'll show you guys. Just put the protective layer on it, as you guys can see right here. The whole reason for this is so you can actually just peel it off. I think this one's already peeled off like this. And then you can stick it on top of whatever you want and then peel this side off and it won't actually damage it or pull anything off. I call it a transfer paper, but Primarily what we need to use contact paper because contact paper isn't as sticky and adhesive and it actually doesn't wreck the stickers at all, which is good. But a lot of people have been saying like, oh, there's like bubbles through here, but this actually doesn't really matter just because it's the very top layer. Because when you stick it on, on the opposite side, as long as the opposite side is super flat, everything is all good. I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to use these stickers because they're just not like a normal, like, paper sticker. So it comes like this, both sides, and like I told you guys, it has that protective layer on top, like the contact paper. You can take it off like this. Right, and now it's stuck on the contact paper, and you should technically wipe down the car, to be honest, or wherever you're sticking, and then you just flop it on like that. Give it some pressure. I don't know if this is gonna work because of how dirty. Oh, no, it's working. It's kind of lifting in areas just because of the dirt on the window. Like you guys can see the amount of dirt that was on the window. But yeah. No color distor distorting at all, and it's just perfect, see? And just to prove to you even how dusty the, the window is, see? And our vinyl still sticks on really well, even though how dirty the window is. The bad times sometimes, or most of the times, when you print vinyl is, if it's actually on car vinyl, there's always like air bubbles through it like this. And then it causes stuff like this, which is like super annoying and there's nothing that we can do about it really. So there's always like an amount that we need to write off. See, this one's good, this one isn't. Some of these are good, the start of it's bad. Okay, I gotta show you guys what my dog's doing. Look at this. What are, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Hmm? Just being a little baby, aren't you? Look at his face. 
All right, come on. It's time to go home. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to go ham on that a thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit that bell button because it notifies you every single time we release brand new videos, guys, and help us grow this channel. So share, like, do whatever you guys have got to do. Tell your friends, families, and friends. And if you guys want to know more videos about our business, as you guys can tell that we're doing more in-depth, detailed videos about how we make stuff, why we make stuff, the troubles that it we have making stuff as well so if you guys have any questions let us know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this video about how we make the decals and stickers and stuff like that for two cents hit that like button anyway guys i'll speak to you guys on tomorrow's video or the next video probably not tomorrow it's going to be like the next couple of days anyway peace